In this video, we're going to be talking about Markov chains. A Markov chain is a mathematical model describing a sequence of states, each of which only depend on the previous state. Markov chains are used to model a lot of different real-world situations. You'll see them used in fields like biology, business, and chemistry. Let's start with some definitions. So first, a probability vector is a vector with non-negative entries that add up to 1. Some examples of probability vectors are say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right? This is a vector whose entries add up to one. Another example would be 0 0.25, 0 0.75. Let's look at one more, a three-dimensional vector, say 2 sevenths, 4 sevenths, and 1 seventh. So in each of these vectors, we have non-negative entries that add up to one. Next, we have that a stochastic matrix is a square matrix whose columns are probability vectors. An example of a stochastic matrix would be something like one-third, two-thirds, three-fifths, two-fifths. Here we have a matrix whose columns are probability vectors because each entry is non-negative and the columns all add up to one. Finally, we have that a Markov chain is a sequence of probability vectors, x0, x1, x2, and so forth, and a stochastic matrix P such that x1 is equal to P times x0, x2 is equal to p times x1, and in general, xk plus 1 is equal to p times xk. We call the vectors x0, x1, x2, and so forth state vectors. So the equation here, xk plus 1 equals p times xk, tells me that to get to the next state, we take p times the previous state. So now let's look at an example. In this example, suppose that a certain school cafeteria only has two options pizza and pasta. A study finds that 25% of the students that have pizza one day will have pasta the next day, while the remaining 75% will have pizza again the next day. The study also finds that 10% of the students that have pasta one day will have pasta again the next day, while the remaining 90% will switch to pizza the next day. Suppose that on the first day of school, half of the students have pizza and the other half of the students have pasta we're asked to find what percentage of students will have pizza and pasta on the next day. To answer this question, let's first define some variables. Let AK be the percentage of students eating pizza K days after the first day of school. And let BK be the percentage of students eating pasta K days after the first day of school. Now let's draw a diagram expressing the information that we have in this problem. So we have two categories. We have pizza and we have pasta. We are told in this problem that 25% of the students that have pizza one day will have pasta the next day. So I'm going to draw an arrow from pizza to pasta and label it with 0.25. Since the remaining 75% will have pizza again the next day, I'm going to draw an arrow from pizza back to itself and label it 0.75 for 75%. Next, we're told that only 10% of the students that have pasta one day will have pasta again the next day. So I'm going to draw an arrow from pasta going back to itself and label it 0.1 for 10%. And the remaining 90% switch to pizza the next day. So I'm going to draw an arrow from pasta to pizza and label it 0.9. This diagram that we've drawn here summarizes what we know about how students change from one food option to the other. Now, we're also told that half the students ate pizza the first day, so I might express that in terms of our variable as A0 equals 50% or 0.5, and the other half ate pasta. So I might write this as B0 equals 50% or 0.5 again. So in this problem, we're asked to find the percentage of students that will have pizza and pasta on the next day. So that's one day after the first day of school. So what we want to do is find A1 and B1. Let's start with finding A1. I know that the percentage of students that will be eating pizza on the second day will come from two sources. 75% of the students that were eating pizza the first day and 90% of the students that were eating pasta the first day. So we can express this as A1 equals 0.75 times A0 plus 
0 0.9 times B0. Now if I want to find B1, the percentage of students that will be eating pasta the second day, again it's going to come from two sources. It's going to come from the 25% of students that were eating pizza the first day, and also 10% of the students that were eating pasta the first day. So this gives me the equation B1 equals 0 0.25 times A0 plus 0 0.1 times B0. These equations that we have will generalize. For example, if I want to find AK plus 1, I know that that's going to depend on AK and BK, the percentage of students that ate pizza and pasta the previous day. So AK plus 1 here is 75% of people that ate pizza the previous day, so that's AK plus 90% of people that ate pasta the previous day, so that's BK. Similarly, BK plus 1 can be expressed in terms of AK and BK, the percentage of students that ate pizza and pasta the previous day. So that's going to be 25% or 0 0.25 times the percentage of people that ate pizza the previous day, so that's AK, plus 10%, that's 0 0.1 times the percentage of students that ate pasta the previous day, so that's BK. What we might notice here is that these equations can be expressed in terms of matrices and vectors. The system can be written as the vector AK plus 1, BK plus 1, equals the matrix 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 0 0.25, 0 0.1 times the vector AK, BK. So now we see that we have what looks like a Markov chain. We have the state vectors, AK plus 1, BK plus 1, and AK, BK. These will label as XK plus 1 and XK. And we also have our stochastic matrix, P. Now, on the first day of school, we have the state vector X0, which consists of components A0, B0. That's going to be 0.5. 0 0.5, since half of the students ate pizza and the other half ate pasta. So here, x0 is called the initial state vector. In our problem, we're asked to find a1, b1, which is the state vector x1. And according to our formula, that's going to be p times x0. So that's the stochastic matrix 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, times the initial state vector, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So let's do this calculation. That's going to be 0 0.75 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.9 times 0 0.5. And in the second component, we have 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.5. Simplifying this, we get 0 0.825 and 0 0.175. So this tells me that on the second day, 82.5% will be eating pizza and 17.5% will be eating pasta. Let's now try to figure out what percentage of students will be eating pizza and pasta on the third day of school. Percentage of students eating pizza and pasta on the third day of school is represented by the state vector x2. In general, we found out above here that xk plus 1 is equal to p times xk. So if I want x2, I would just do p times x1. So we have the matrix 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 0 0.25, 0 0.1 times x1. x1 is the state vector that we found above. That's 0 0.825. 0 0.175. Multiplying this out, we get 0 0.776 and 0 0.224. So we can conclude that on the third day, 77.6% of the students will be eating pizza and 22.4% of the students will be eating pasta. So that's where I'll end this video. We'll look at another example in the next video.